Right now, the frantic search for a missing little boy continues. Largo police issued an Amber Alert for two-year-old Jordan Beliveau on Sunday, and he hasn't been seen in more than 48 hours. News Channel 8's Chip Osowski joins us live from the Largo Police Department with new details in this case. Chip. Well, and Jen, earlier today, Largo police detectives told us they were looking for a man driving a white Toyota Camry. And this afternoon, they released this composite sketch of Antoine, the man that they are looking for. They believe he may have this child or may have information that might help detectives locate Jordan. While the sheriff's office dive team searched the pond at the Enclave on East Apartments where Jordan lived with his mother, investigators collected evidence from inside the apartment and surrounding areas, some of it bloody. We're collecting anything and everything that may be of value in, in our case. Evidence that neighbors or someone may, may see com coming out doesn't necessarily mean that that is relevant to our investigation. Have you found bloody clothing inside that apartment? We have found some, some bloody items, yes. Cherise Stinson says a man named Antoine picked her and Jordan up Saturday night, offering them a ride. Stinson told police she and Antoine got into a fight. He knocked her out, and she woke up around 1 o'clock the next morning in Largo Central Park. Jordan was nowhere to be found. Neighbor Amy Towell wonders why Stinson would get into a stranger's car with her little boy. My parents always taught me stranger danger. You don't... No one just gets in a car with at 9 o'clock at night with a kid. It's too dangerous to me. Stinson does have a criminal record, but investigators are not outwardly questioning her story. That being said, a lie detector test isn't out of the question. Given that your best leads are coming from the mother, why haven't you asked her to take a polygraph, and, and are you going to do that? I would think that that, that, was part of the invest, that may be part of the investigative plan going forward. And a couple of other items of note from Largo PD here. Largo P police detectives may elect to release the surveillance video from Largo Central Park that pictures Stinson after the attack. And also, Stinson may break her silence. She may elect to speak to the media tomorrow. Jen? Chip, thank you very much. Now to some breaking